guys, um, it's me again. I figured I'd show you guys, do a short little book haul and show you the books that I got over my break while I was gone. So, um, here we go. These I got while I was, or these I got from Goodwill and stuff. And I, our Goodwill out here is really, really nice on Washington. And, um, it's not, like, some of the Goodwills I've gone to are really gross. And the book section is, like, one shelf long. This one is really, really nice. So, um, this one call, is called What the Dead... What the Dead Know by Laura Levin. And it is about these twins, or no, these two sisters, ages 11 and 15, they disappeared from a shopping mall, and their bodies were never uncovered. And, um, and then they run into this woman who claims to, um, this was 30 years ago when they went missing, and then um, 30 years later, they meet this woman who claims to be one of the sisters, but she doesn't know what happened or something like that. So, I liked, I've read um, one of her books, I can't remember the name of it, but, um, and then this one I got the other day, it's called The Kingdom of Childhood by Rebecca Pullman, and it's actually an arc, you can see right there, but um, this one is about a, it's a story of a boy and a woman, 16 year old Zach Patterson, and he has a um, an affair with his teacher, um, and it kind of goes from there. I've heard it being described as disturbing, so, I mean, I could see why, but I don't know, we'll see. And then I also got City of Glass, book three, by Cassandra Clare, book three in the Mortal Instrument series. Look how thick it is, it's awesome. Um, I don't have the other books in the series, but I'm hoping to get it. I really like it. It's really pretty and shiny. And then, more books from Goodwill. Um, A Reliable Wife by Robert, Go Robert Golrick. And it's about, I love her dress. It's so pretty. But it's about this man who, he places an ad in a Chicago paper. He says he wants a reliable wife. So this woman responds saying she's a simple, honest woman, but she's anything but honest, and she, um, she wants to marry him for his, she wants to marry him and then kill him and end up with his money, but apparently he has a plan of his own, so, sounds mysterious. And then, The Castaways by Ela, Elin, Elin Hildebrand, I think, is how should you say it, but it looks like a beachy read. It's, um, this couple, this married couple, have rumors of infidelity flying around, and they decide to go on a vacation, and, um, they end up getting into an accident, and they drown mysteriously, and they, um, all this stuff comes out about their marriage and stuff like that, so. And then, I heard a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys talk about this book, so I wanted to check it out. I know there's, um... A second and a third to the series, I believe, but I'm not sure, so I'll be checking that out. But High Society by Ali Carter, and um, it's about a woman who, her family, she's born to a family of thieves, and then she wants to get out of it or something like that, I don't know, I know you guys have heard of it, but that's all from Goodwill, and then... This one is, um, at Barnes & Noble sometimes they have a buy one, or buy two, get the third one free, and, um, I have some of my other books that I got in the, with that, but, um, this is one of them, A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan, Egan, and, um, I don't really know how this is, how to describe this, it's about, like, I heard it's written in like four different parts and they're all different stories that come together and it's it's about music and stuff like that and I love music so I'm excited to read it and decide what it's about. But, and then I also got this one. Um, Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama. And I don't know about you guys but I've always been a big fan of Barack Obama. I thought I think that he's really helped our country so far and he has a lot more going on for us so... I thought that was pretty interesting. Then, for myself, my birthday was in January, 
and um, I bought myself this on Amazon because my in-laws bought me an Amazon gift card. So I got The Making of Some Like It Hot by Tony Curtis, and Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe is my favorite movie ever. I can watch it over and over, and it's amazing. So um, this is just Tony Curtis's um, story on how it was filmed and everything that happened, and I like the back. That's like one of the scenes and that shows them filming it. And then for Christmas, um, my husband got me this. I don't have the books, but this is the box that came in. The, um, the Barnes and Noble Classics collection right there. It's leather bound books. And then these are the books that came with it. It's, um, the Iliad, the, uh, or the Odyssey by Homer, the Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, Jane Austen, um, Jane Austen's Seven Novels, the Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, and the Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle. So I was really, really excited to get that. It's, um, all the books are in my bookshelf right now. So, anyway, um... Those are pretty much the books I've gotten. I haven't gotten too many books because um, I have so many books I need to read. Like, it's not even a list anymore. It's like a... I could probably fill this room with how many books I still need to read because I still have a bunch of books on my Kindle as well. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, like I said, I'm st I have no idea what I'm going to read next. Hopefully one of these books. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know because I really want to start doing videos and reviews again and um, everything like that. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I have about 136 right now. So thank you so much. Um, like I said, I apologize for it's been so long since I've been making videos. I've just been really busy. And um, I'm still pretty busy. I just, um, I'm going to try to find time to do videos and read and everything. I'm still reading like crazy. So I've just been in a weird slump. So anyway, I'm going to start stop rambling and um my dog is right there. <laughs> He's playing around. But anyway, okay, well, I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a good day.